Salutations and good morrow everyone welcome back to another grounded update video where today I am hopping in and showing you guys one of the best possible locations to go grind some of those early game upgrade materials for once you finally get into the upper yard as well as a whole bunch of other upgrade materials that you can go and get. Now a warning before you guys come over here this area is full of ladybird larva it is the ladybird larva cave and it has a ton of upgrade materials. Make sure you guys bring a tier three ax with you because there is going to be some areas where you're gonna need to cut down some roots, but as long as you guys follow my tips and tricks, you guys should be able to make it over here and through this location without a problem. So first things first, you're gonna to wanna to get up into the upper backyard like I did right up here. This is where my castle is and we're actually gonna be running right over this way. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to get over there now. So. This cave is actually in this lower yard area right over here. What we're going to do is we're going to jump right up over here and we're going back that way. This cave is chock right underneath a larva pit or right underneath a research outpost actually and it is a giant larva pit. It's actually right there. So you come right here, you drop down right here and then you drop down right here and you run right over here. And I'm going to open up the map and show you guys exactly where this is in just a second. So it is right here. And boom, here's a giant hole in the ground full of ladybird larva, just like this little guy right here that really wants to tango. All right, we'll do to wipe him out really quick. And here we are. Now, let's look at the map, shall we? This is where we are. We are right underneath this field station right here in the upper backyard area. This location is going to be full of ladybird larva on the way here, as well as full of ladybird larva on your way in. Let's go ahead and grab a torch because it is dark in here, and let's make our way down here. Now, for a tip and trick weapon for you guys, when you come on in here, I would suggest you guys bring a salty spear in here. It will do the most damage to the ladybird larva so i would suggest bringing that with you but this poison build that i have here seems to do pretty well for us as well also fresh defense probably a good idea as well to have on so let's go ahead and throw fresh defense on shall we there we go that helps now i'm not so worried about it so the thing about this cave right okay perks back on and here we go now the thing about this cave guys is this cave is dangerous. It has probably better part of 50 ladybird larva in it. And if you're not comfortable at fighting ladybird larva, you might die while you're in here. So you're gonna wanna be careful while in this cave because what we've seen so far is nothing in comparison to what is coming. So um, let's go ahead and wipe out this one too. Now, why come here other than the upgrade materials that you can break with a rock? Because larva spikes are what you need in order to make brittle whetstones. And if you guys want to have upgraded gear, you're going to need a lot of brittle whetstones. But here comes the start of all of the quartzite that you can get from in here. So we're going to go ahead and just bust these down really quick. And grab up all the upgrade materials that we can. There we go. And clear this one. All right. So right over here is the first entrance to the upgrade materials that you're going to need an axe for. This is why I told you guys to bring a tier three axe with you because you're gonna need to cut roots that are right here. But if you cut these roots that are right here, you'll get access to this room where we have more quartzite, a supreme quartzite, more quartzite, more quartzite, more quartzite, and even more quartzite. So this room is a fantastic location for you to get even more quartzite from as well. I'm gonna go ahead and grab up all of this that I can, and then we'll continue on once it's all gathered. Okay, so, so far with the nodes that were in here, as well as the nodes that were back there, we have gotten a grand total of three Supreme Quartzite, 18 Sturdy Quartzite, and 30 Brittle Quartzite. So that's a lot of stuff to be able to upgrade already, and we're not even done yet. We gotta keep going inside of this cave. We're not even close to done yet. So, onwards, we want to keep on going deeper into this cave by following this path off to the left. If you follow this back in here, you're going to start to run across even more larva as you're working your way down here. But here's the thing about this these larva over here, guys, is you want to be careful with these ones. Yep, whoop. Gotta get that perfect block and make sure I'm got causing that poison. Alright. More larva spikes. Alright, so this room here, 
This is the dangerous room. This room has so many ladybird larvae in it, it's kind of creepy actually. So let's get on in here and we'll show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, and here we are. There is a ton of ladybird larvae in this room, so be careful. But there's also a ton of upgrade materials in here, so it's very valuable to be able to come in here and fight all these guys. Now, I'm going to put my shield on um, and fight them in the dark, so that way I have better defense, and I'll get back to you guys once they're all dead. Let's do this. All right, so we went through and we did a little bit of murder and back here in this back corner inside of this room where I just killed all these ladybird larvae, there is a nice little area to get a bunch of marble. Yes, we have brittle marble over here. We have some sturdy marble and we even have a bunch more sturdy marble and later on in the cave, there's also a supreme marble as well. But let's go through and let's get all of this gathered up here if we can. Once you've gathered up that marble, you just want to check around the walls because there's always more stuff that is around. Oh, there's an actual ladybird in here. That's different. That I wasn't expecting to see. This is the first time I've ran into one of you down here. There we go. Nothing right now, Wendell. Then anyway... So, if you follow this path up back over here, you're going to find another sturdy quartzite, and you'll have a root path that's going to be blocking you right about right here, right where that larva is walking in, behind my head right up there. And this is another location for you guys to come to get more marble pieces. So here's some, and here's that supreme marble that I was talking about. And guys, I know this sounds crazy, but even with all of these upgrade materials we've already gotten, we're still not done. There's even more in here. So you're gonna wanna keep on going and grab up all the pieces of marble that you can, because those, those armor upgrades are definitely needed. Okay, so we just came out of this room that was right here. If we follow this around this direction, this is actually a way out. You can get back out over here if you want to. There is another entrance that is right here to this larva cave because where we came from was a research station that was here. Now we are up here in the upper yard area, but we're not done in that cave yet. But make sure you guys grab this sturdy quartzite that's right here as well as just a little bit of an extra bonus of materials that you can grab. Come back here, quit rolling away from me. I still need you all. Okay, perfect. So let's check what we've gotten so far from this cave and we're not even done yet. We have gotten 33 brittle quartzite, 21 sturdy quartzite, 3 supreme quartzite, 30 brittle marble, 21 sturdy marble, and 3 uh, supreme marble shards. And we're still not done. So if we follow this area back around over there, Grab this quartzite that I missed right here. Make sure we're grabbing a little bit of everything. Perfect. And we go back into this room that we were in that had all of the larva in it, right? If you jump up here and then jump up here, there is a milk molar up there. And that is the final thing that is in here for you guys to grab. There's a milk molar in here, tons of upgrade materials, and tons of larva spikes. Now, there is one more bonus to coming in here and wiping out all of these guys to get all those larva spikes and all of that, is these acid glands that are right here are a fantastic thing for you guys to get for you to have Beefy smoothies, the question mark smoothies, the questionable slop or the beefy questionable slop or the sticky questionable slop. All of those are fantastic healing items and using these acid glands is a super easy way to be able to make them. An orc inside of this, huh? already an orc. All right. Well, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys found this one helpful and instructive. If you did, make sure you guys hit that like button. I am loving doing all these how-to videos for the new Grounded update, and I hope you guys are as well. But thank you guys all so much. Please make sure you guys hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment down below. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.